This is a story about Fukushima, but it's not the one you've already heard. This is the story of my Fukushima, or actually our Fukushima. This is Max. He's my best friend, and one of many English teachers living in Japan. When Max got assigned to work in Fukushima, he invited me to live with him for a while. This is us playing video games and drinking sake. This is Sky Mira Lake, one of the largest in the country and a huge summer hotspot. This is late October, by the way. This is Susan. She opened an animal shelter in her home where she takes care of cats that were abandoned during the earthquake. This is Suruga Joe, the castle where the final battle of the samurai era was fought. And this? This is a fire festival. There is so much going on in Fukushima that I want to share with you. In the two months I spent living there, I only filmed a fraction of what I did. And I only did a fraction of what there is to do. Fund this project so we can go back with more people and better cameras and show you what Fukushima is really all about. And yes, we'll go back to the evacuated lands and talk to some of the people who are still unable to return home. And some of the people like this doctor here who are doing everything they can to help. Maybe we'll even be able to rescue this guy, who is either an idiot or a genius. I want to show you the real Fukushima. The Fukushima that isn't about the disaster, the alarming cleanup reports, and the sensationalist bullshit Facebook posts. I want to show you my Fukushima. <laughs>